okay welcome back so a lot of people were asking me on how to get Android Beta 3 on your device uh, I, this was a question on my last video this is a follow-up on that the reason why I didn't give the link on the last video is because Beta 4 is out right now and as you can see I'll be posting this whole link on the description below and show you right now on how to install it uh, just be sure that you have to read everything like there's there are known issues on this it says here when set FPS to 120 it, uh, FPS will be unstable while playing Shadowgun Legends so if you play that game um, you have to re read this very well Voice will come from speaker instead of earpiece if you make call with line Instagram created by the twin apps. So I don't use twin apps that much, so that's not an issue for me. Candy Crash background music will disappear while receiving line call during the game. And since I don't use Candy Crush, that's also not an issue to me. Occasionally mute. This is the same issue as this occasionally mute. This is the same issue as Android Beta 3 but it's easily fixed once you restart the phone gestures and dark screen will be disabled after upgrade so let's see what happens so all you have to do so if you're coming from beta 3 up to beta 4 android 10 there are two links so I usually do the G drive so just download the uh, this one this link and you have to rename it to uh, this one, Asus file, the Asus file. Then copy to internal storage and reboot uh, Reboot the phone. Uh, change log, of course, improve system stability, improve accessory stability, fix third party app calling issue. So let's see, let's go through it one by one. Let's see how it goes. So let's open the link at Chrome. Let's see what happens. So it's opening in Google Drive. So as you can see, it's downloading right now. So this will take a few minutes. So let's give it a few minutes to download. While it's downloading, I would like to talk to you some other issues that you may not have known. As you can see, there's this white line at the bottom of the screen on an and on Android 10. Uh, this is the new feature which I really like all you have to do is like swipe on this and you just go back to your previous app see the arrow on your left side and when you click it it uh, just drops down the keyboard so wait what happened let's open it again yep there So for the rest of the issues, I don't see it's much of a problem because I've been using uh, Beta 3 for some, a few days now and I don't have any problems with it. I love the way this gesture thing, as I was saying, you know, you can go swipe back to different screens instead of the, you know, doing this. All I have to do now is just from the screen, just swipe here and then back there, then swipe there. And it goes back. Okay, so I'll be fast forwarding this video and get back to you as soon as we're almost done, okay? See you guys later. Okay, so as you can see, our download is almost done. Uh, a lot of people are always asking where does the file go. Some of them right after download can't find the file. So I'll show you what I usually do. Uh, usually right after the download it won't usually appear. You'll, you'll have to go to Google Drive first. So let's just wait for it to finish. Okay. So you see this? As soon as this happens, all, what, I, what I usually do is I just you know just click that click away from it 
and I just open my Google Drive click the home screen usually the first file you see on top is the file you that the last downloaded and just click download again you get a prompt you check your notification details here it will download again but this time it's gonna download a lot faster than your previous download and as soon as this downloads from here you will on your file manager downloads folder so let's just wait for it to finish it's supposed to speed up any second anyway while we're waiting if ever there's a topic you want me to discuss or some questions you want me to answer feel free to just uh, send me a message so I could think of my next video to help you guys out I'm always as you can see here in my email most of these are comments from my subscribers and I do my view uh, just let me know which topic you want and I'll get back to you or make a video of it as soon as possible. Okay, so so I won't waste your time anymore. I'll just pause this video again and get back to you when it's almost done. Okay, so after we downloaded it, all you have to do is the usual. Go to your file manager. The file will be located on your downloads folder so all you have to do is open it uh, I already transferred the file to my internal storage as you can see it's already there so all you have to do is open let's say it's in the download folder and let's say it's about let's say this file all you have to do is long press click rename and then just copy paste the name of the file so this way instead of typing the whole file you won't have a let's say typo error then as soon as you copy it you copy paste the file just click move let's say you open this zip file long press that one and then this is let's say you wanna rename it just click rename let's say test let's say that let, let's just say for some reason that's the file name so let's just click test then long press again move to internal storage and okay so let's say let's let's just give it an example that that file is this file the ASUS so after that just restart your phone so as, be sure you have renamed the file and place it in your internal storage main directory not inside any folder so as you can see I, I already restarted my phone I restarted my phone and as you can see also here uh, it says here system file update file detected so just click on that system update package and click OK this will update the system and right after it updates I guess you know how this goes you'll have to reboot your phone and from there that's it basically so while we're waiting I'd like to make a shout out to those like Sir Adelina Gaspar thank you so much for supporting my channel Sir James Rodriguez uh, and a lot more I'm sorry I, I can't remember all your names uh, Mr. Kunanan, if I'm not mistaken, or something. Uh, thank you so much, you guys. You guys are a big help. And I'll, I'll be forever grateful to you guys. Thank you so much. And all, all other guys I forgot to mention. You know who you are. I'll get to get... I'll, maybe on my next video, I'll get all your names. Thank you so much for your help. Okay, so let's see the status. We're at 92%. Almost there. Huh? 
99% There, system update successful Please restart your device So I'll be restarting my device right now And finish this off right after See you again in a while Alright Okay, so as you can see, my phone has restarted and system update successful. So everything's working still as fast as before. And of course, I can't give you a full review because I just installed it right now. But tell me your feedbacks about the update if ever you want to update. Also, uh, feedback on the comments below on what topics you want me to discuss about next so I, maybe I could help you out or make a video out of it uh, as usual hit the like and subscribe button share this video help me out guys uh, thanks you thanks so much for all your support and I, I will be forever grateful for all to all of you thanks so much and until the next video see you thanks